friends. Um, today I thought we'd make this little mixed media whimsical face we've been working on into a teeny little um, mixed media canvas. I thought we'd work small, it would be really cute. And this is a four and a half by three canvas and um, it's the ones I got from the dollar store and I cut up. I used my cleanup papers for the background, corrugated cardboard for just some texture here and a uh, rolling stamp here that I have of um, scripture of you know writing and I thought that would be a really cute way for us to start using our um, little whimsical faces that we've been playing with and making some really cool pieces of, of uh, art that abstract whimsical face art pieces so here we go I have my piece here finding pieces of paper that I had from uh, paper napkin, paper towel, I mean, that are just cleanups. So I'm just going to go through some. You can use just regular napkin pieces as well, but I just want to use my cleanups and see what I have for colors in those today. So I have some grabbed, I just have some on the side. Oh, here's what I want. Sorry, guys, I'm taking so long. Okay, so I have some right here, too. So what I'm going to do is the darker, I'm kind of try to lay off some of that. It's harder to paint on that, but I'm going to go with Mod Podge and Mod Podge these pieces on here. So I'm going to grab, sorry, guys. paper towel here just to get my brush a little drier. So I'm just going to do that and I'm going to mod podge pieces, rip them off, tear them off and try to get some nice beautiful bright background colors. And here is one. Pick the best side. And I want texture so the texture is fine on how, you know, lumpy or whatever it is, you know, within of course, something workable to paint on. And I'm also using my soft pastels, and that's what we've been working on with these. Some of us have been. So I am going with some of this. Some of this is really dry, but that's okay. Just go with what you have. If you guys dried them, you straighten them, save them. You can even use um, baby wipes as well. So I okay, think these ones are like really almost like double layer here yeah look at that so I'm just gonna thin that out a bit and that's gonna actually glue better once I thin that out I should have um, done that before but you just learn as you go right so this one is quite layered as well so it doesn't really matter how you want it. Just go for it. Just I suggest the less darker colors in it as you can because then you're easier to paint your your pieces on. So I'm just gonna go and grab that and put it over here. I'm actually gonna move that because now I have too much of a dark edge over there. I want her nose right kind of in the center, so I don't want to have a big black thing to deal with for her nose. <laughs> so that's that's why I just moved that. So kind of flipping that. I'm just gonna reuse that right here. And I think that's perfect texture right there. I see a nice orange that I want to use. If I can grab some orange. I got some orange right in here. I think that would be really cool. It's very hard and old paint, but I'm sure I can manage it. So that's that. And, and then I'm going to so just look at all the beautiful colors you can grab from your your leftover stuff here that you're cleaning up. But anyway, and that's very going to be very 
textural, but that's okay because more the better. Just try to keep it more on around the edges for the more texture because you want your face to be easily painted on. There, I think I'm done with that. Now I'm going to dry that off and I've got some cardboard pieces that are kind of ready here that I painted with gesso. I peeled the wetted, I wet the cardboard so I could peel off the outer layer, this outer layer on this side easily. And I'm just going to add those on to it. So with this one, I might add it to the bottom because I have this really nice texture piece here. And I might add that to the top just like that. And in fact, I believe that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do it. And I'm going to add the glue right there. And this is leftover pieces that were from the uh, the last cardboard piece I used on the other canvas. So it's perfect. Now I'm going to dry this up, guys. This is what I have now. So here's my canvas. Isn't that great? All this lovely color. So what I'm going to do now is grab my colors here like this, my soft pastels. And that's what we've been working on. Some, a lot of us have been working on with this project with soft pastels. So that's kind of cool keeping in with that. And now I'm just going to make a mark. I'm just going to do the one, two, three marks, you know, the eyes and then the, the little bit tip of the nose. And then that's what I'm going to do. So we're just doing that practice there that we were playing with in the first video of the whimsical faces. And then that's our starter. I'm going to go in with some eyebrows there. But you can leave those to last and you decide, like, you know, if you want to decide anything with that, if you... Now you just know that you gotta work with a little bit of a dryer brush. It's as on water paper, it's a little bit you know it soaks in a little bit better and it's nice. Um, you can also do this with marker. Um, look at that, Isn't that nice. Got that going there. You can also do this with marker and play with it that way too. It's really not gonna be a burden I don't think on you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do little balls on the nose there and then just come in with the just to do something a little whimsical you know it's not like going to be a perfect human face it's going to be a, your fun whimsical human face so human you know what I mean. So I'm going to do her little mouth I'm going to do that little kind of heart shape that I've done before and um like I said, the, it's going to sit a little different on here than, um, of course, your watercolor. So whatever is left over, I'm just going to kind of play with colors around her face, pick up maybe a little bit of color, and add some color that way. You know how we did the colors around the face and stuff. So it's going to be a little different, but it's going to be fun. So I'm putting a little yellow on her forehead. I haven't chose the hair, but I think it's just going to be some, let's just do some black again, like I've done on the other one, just a little outline, and that's about it. We're not going to do a solid, because look at all that lovely color. We don't really want to cover it up. I'm going to do a little funny bang here, and then that's it. And there we go. So it's a little bit of a... different face. You can go over pick some up if you don't like the face shape. I might have did it a little big. I don't know. And kind of play with it like that. So what I'm going to do now is add the cheeks. I'm going to go with nice red because I love those whimsical happy cheeks. Just like we practiced with the whimsical um, faces and that's it it's so cool it's a little different on a background that's got some Mod Podge on it and stuff because it doesn't soak in but you don't use as much water on your water brush so 
and it will work great with marker too. I'm going to go in with the orange, throw in some orange on top, widen it up a bit. This is so hard to make a mistake, guys. It's just, it's crazy. It's just going to be so hard to make a mistake with this. It's just fun. It's abstract mixed media fun, and you're going to love it. It's just a way to use what you, we've played with and move it on to something else, right? Now I'm going to use this teal because I love the teal. If you remember, we used a lot of teal. I used it to shade my face a bit. And there is a lot of color in there, so it doesn't matter, but we're just going to kind of play with it like that. Going in with my gray a bit here. And that's about it, guys. I think I'll do a little bit of a gray lid. The orange is a really uh, an acrylic paint on, on this one, so you just don't have too much water on it and it just it'll still go nice so perfect you could add grays to some of it to add a little bit of face contouring you know to your imagination and then anything you want to kind of fix up after say you want to lighten anything up you still if you still have some gesso um, I had some gesso out and or you can use acrylic paint and just kind of go along the nose um, just kind of map out a face a little bit on the highlighted areas that you want to highlight so I could put um, the other video up as well I don't know what will help um, I'm just kind of playing with it here guys and I hope I'm not like making this way too hard to for you guys to kind of play but I just thought it would be really nice to kind of throw together a little mixed media piece and yeah so I did lighten up some of that orange there with the um, gesso that I've had and there we go. So this is my first one. It's a little bit stronger lines. And you can just go over it and play with it until you feel that it's just perfect. So there's no wrong. This is just an abstract fun piece. So having fun with it, doing something new. And that is what our inspiration is today playing with what we've got so we've got the lines the curves of the you know it's all it's such a nice wave to it really and easy fun and whimsical so I hope you guys like that I'm probably going to add a little more green because I can add more colors and get away with it maybe <laughs> and then it'll be like oh what did I do? But hey, it's our work and we can do whatever we want. So there we go. I just love adding and seeing how far I can push it for me. That's how, you know, that's fun. So that's what I tend to do. Okay, guys, I think I will leave you right there. Um, I just hope you guys have fun with this. Give it a try. And I will dry this up. What I do to protect is I put a nice soft coating of um, Mod Podge on it and it really works well. Actually before I go I will um, just go over the edge what I did here. I forgot to, to go over the edge. I just used um, this gold poster board paint that's in a tube for my edging. You guys can use um, your deco if you have deco art you can use your your you know, gold um, metallics or whatever, but uh, or you can just use dollar store gold, which is works really well and it bubbles. I do it like where I hold it on there and purposely bubble it up. Love that look, and that's what I did with this one, and I really love that look. Another thing that I did on this piece is I 
inked up one of these and did some script on the face. So I just love that look just to show you. Isn't that look? It just adds a little something. It's still a little wet here, but I am kind of going a little crazy here to show you guys. But I think it adds just a little something to it. So I'm going to quickly dry this up and then adding the soft pastels and spreading it. I'm just very careful with it. But I was just thinking, I'm going to grab my painters. I was thinking I'm just going to put a little speck in the eye. See how I like that. That one's got, it's just, you know, I don't know. Just see something new that just kind of, maybe I like, maybe I don't, don't know. Not sure yet. Not sure about that one. I'm not sold on that one. I might have to go over it. But I was just thinking, you know, what's, what would that look like? But yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. I'm just going to go over it. I might have to wet, let it dry a little second longer here. Well, quick heat cure on it. You know what? I'll just leave it. Anyways, okay, so this is what I do for my Mod Podge, and I just don't want to spread and re ink, move that, that color that I did. And I just kind of go over and like back and forth and just kind of just a little bit of Mod Podge. So I'm not spreading a whole bunch of color everywhere and making mud and, and trying to keep the lines. Like I'm not going to go totally against and just rip the lines apart there. You know what I mean? with the brush and I'm just going to kind of carefully do that and then dry it up and it really works good. I pretty much do this all the time even with inks that are not permanent. I just do and I just been in the habit of doing that and I'm going to go over this. I mean you guys can spray it with whatever kind of um, finish you want to protect it. Be careful. Do teeny weeny little just dabs of glue. Um, yeah, Mod Podge, and you know, you don't want to spread it too much. You could pick up whatever you have on the brush. You're bringing it right. You could easily pick it up by just dabbing if you have too much glue. And that's it. It usually works really well with me. I don't really have it. You know, it's a little smudged maybe, but it works pretty good. I'm going to dry this up. There is my piece, guys. Um, it's a little different, but they're all not going to be the same. I don't know if I like the eyes. I might. I don't know. And you can always, I Mod Podge it, but you can always go back and um, fix anything you don't like and add a little bit more uh, Mod Podge. Just to show you, I want a little bit more red, say, here. I'm just going to go over it. And it makes it, you know, it's not, if you feel that something's not finished, you can go over it and and add more even if you got Mod Podge on there so that is no fear there so just to let you know that and making her a little uh, got a red nose there but that's all good you can do whatever you want so just showing that you can do that and then add like again, you can add a little bit more. There's no wrong. This is great. This this stuff is just easily played with with this soft pastels. I love that part. And like I said, you're you're working on if you're working on dollar store stuff, you don't feel so bad experimenting buying canvases. For me, anyhow, and uh, the more you experiment, the better you'll get. Trust me. I'm going to throw some white in here just because. See. Hmm? Don't know if I like it. But hey, that's the thing. I'm going to throw in. I like white on the nose. Make it so it looks like it's coming out more. So that is about it, guys. I hope you will give it a try. And, yeah, kind of like that. And like I said, you can go over it again. So that's done. Guys, talk to you later. Uh, speaking of English, talk to you guys later. Hope you give it a try. And yeah, don't forget to craft like a duck. Bye, guys.